Before we start, let me briefly introduce myself. My name is Sandrila Dinaya, and I am a biotechnology student at the University of Al Azhar, Indonesia. And today, I would like to present about Novel Microbial Consortium Formulation as Plant Growth Promoting Bacteria Agent. And now let's get started. First, introduction. Intercropping is one of the potential agriculture technologies that can support sustainable farming system. Intercropping provides various benefits including provide an increase of organic matter in the soil. And organic matter can increase the population of microorganisms both in type and amount so the soil quality also increase. The organic carbon content and the total number of bacteria in our land planted with canna is higher than land without canna. This indicates that planting canna intercrops can affect the total number of bacteria in the soil. Plant growth promoting bacteria or PGPB is a bacteria that lives free in the soil and it can also be found in the rhizosphere, rhizopline, and phyllosphere. PGPB has several capabilities including nitrogen fixation, dissolving phosphate, and potassium to increase plant growth. The capabilities can make PGPB used for an alternative to replace chemical fertilizer because it is environmentally friendly. Bacterial isolates as a biological fertilizer agent are more effectively used in consortium form than single strain. Biofertilizer must contain bacteria that are non-pathogenic, compatible with each other, and actively in many biogeochemical processes such as nitrogen fixation and dissolving phosphate and potassium. And because of that, the aim of this study are to investigate compatibility, design soil bacteria consortium insulated from rubber canna intercropping plantation and evaluate the consortium's potential as biofertilizer. Bacteria samples were collected from plantation rubber canna intercropping system with and without canna indica on the plantation located in Subang. Now, I'll share with you my methodology flow. First, detection of pathogenic bacteria or pathogenicity test was tested by blood agar method. Then, characterization of bacterial isolate was tested such as phosphate solubilizing, potassium solubilizing, nitrogen fixing bacteria, and IAA producing bacteria test. And after we got on pathogenic bacteria with functional bacteria, we did compatibility test. Compatibility test was performed by cross rate method. And now, result and discussion. First, pathogenicity test. The result showed that microbes gave different response to the pathogenicity. The result showed that two isolates are beta hemolysis, 10 alpha isolates, and 7 gamma isolates. Pathogenic bacteria such as Bacillus panaceterais rain soil 1517 and Isolat G8 are not used for biofertilizer formulation because it feared it will be dangerous for plant, animal, and human. For phosphate solubilizing bacteria tests, there were 8 and 2 from G and TG soil samples that were showed positive results to isolate phosphate. Isolat G5 had the highest phosphorus solubilization index, while the lowest is Isolat G8. The clear zone area qualitatively can show the size of the ability of bacteria phosphate solubilizing to dissolve phosphorus from insoluble phosphate. Phosphate solvent bacteria have the ability to increase the mobility or solubility of inorganic phosphorus compound. Phosphorus is important for flower and fruit formation in plant growth. Potassium solubilizing bacteria test. The result showed that 2 and 5 from G and TG soil showed positive result. Isolat G5 had the highest potassium solubilization index, while the lowest is citrobacter from D strain ATCC 8090. Potassium is one of the three essential plant macronutrients along with nitrogen and phosphate. Potassium enhances the ability formation and transport carbohydrate, plant to resist pests and disease, straighten the stem, help the development of roots, photosynthesis, and transportation of assimilation, result, enzyme and mineral. Next, nitrogen fixing bacteria test. The result of nitrogen fixing test showed that all isolates called fixation nitrogen among 19 isolates. Nitrogen used for the formation of chlorophyll, protoplasm, protein, and nucleate acid. Indole acetic acid production test. The result of indole acetic 
acid test showed that 7 and 6 isolates from G and TG soils could produce indoacetic acid. Indicate by color change of the samples from clear yellow to red dish. The bacterial isolate that produced the highest concentration of indoacetic acid was citrobutter Brackley strain 167, while the lowest concentration was citrobutter Freundi strain 80cc 8090. IAA producing bacteria stimulate initiation of roots and increase the rate of land growth. Compatibility test. The selected bacteria from pathogenicity and several potential bacteria screening were tested in its compatibility. Nolysis was found at the juncture from all combination and all combinations showed compatibility with each other. All combinations showed compatibility with each other because the bacteria is able to provide nutritional metabolites that nutrients can be used by other bacteria to grow. Based on this study, we conclude that from the functional tests among 19 bacterial isolates, all showed the nitrogen fixing activity. G5 had the highest phosphorus and potassium solubilization index, whereas Citrobacter brachii strain 167 produced the highest indoacetic acid concentration. Compatibility analysis showed that Citrobacter freundi strain LMG 3246, Citrobacter brachii strain DSM 17596 and isolate G5 are compatible as a bacterial consortium and may develop as biofertilizer because their ability of fixation nitrogen, solubilized phosphate, and potassium. The study found a possible new and beneficial biofertilizer formulation to enhance plant growth and to reduce the application of chemical fertilizer.